Well, things are going pretty well. Uh, made some great progress so far this preseason. Been going about a week. Um, not too many young kids. Uh, usually that's the exciting part of preseason is seeing those young players really develop pretty quickly uh, with only one new player. Um, she's been developing really well, but it's mostly been about trying to continue the work that we did in, the, in the, our COVID spring season that we had a couple months ago. Um, things are going well, making good progress, still kind of trying to figure some things out at this point. Yeah, uh, it's good to be back to not wearing masks in practice, uh, being able to breathe a little bit, being able to communicate better. Um, that extra burden on the players, I think, really took its toll uh, when we tried to have our season in the spring. So to be able to play without those just allows the players to give that extra level of effort, um, be a little more comfortable. And then us as coaches, we can communicate so much better. So it's nice to be back to a little bit of normal. There's still some protocol and things in the way to help keep them safe. Uh, but it's nice to feel somewhat normal at this point. That spring season was really important for us. Uh, we, it was a pretty much a rebuilding year for us. We graduated a lot of seniors that contributed a lot the year before. So, so many young players, so many new players in position uh, in really important positions that we needed that season. And it didn't go the way we wanted, but it kind of went the way we expected it to. It was, it was going to be a learning year and be a lot of development of younger players. And we never quite broke through and put all the pieces together, but we came darn close and, and got better as the season went on. So uh, it was crucial and uh, gonna hopefully continue the work that we did, pick up where we left off from the spring. And that we appear to have done that. We're still figuring some things out, finding the best positions for some players. Um, yeah, that, that spring season, as strange as it was, and as much of a challenge as it was, was pretty crucial for our development. Well, we returned two of our three captains, uh, and they were two starters from last year. Our setter, Peyton Gerstacker, uh, is back again. And then our uh, main outside hitter, uh, really outside right side hitter, Maria Vukai, is back as well. So they're, they're going to be skill-wise pretty important, as well as leadership-wise, just a year under their belt of leading, uh, not just on the floor, but emotionally and mentally uh, as well. So and that leadership back is pretty crucial. Um, and from there, it's, it's been interesting. Uh, we had uh, Haley Klum had really a breakout season um, skill wise in the spring. And so uh, we're hoping she can pick up where she left off uh, in the middle, uh, just a force offensively and then also blocking wise. Um, and then from there, it's, it's a little bit up in the air. We're still waiting to see who's going to fill those other roles as far as skills and, and uh, uh, leadership during play. Uh, we've had some of the upperclassmen really step up as far as the emotional and the mental leadership that we need to be working hard in practice and recovering from from the, the things that happen in a practice that sometimes can get a team down. So um, developing some good leaders uh, as far as that goes, but as far as skill and, and stats and things, we're still kind of figuring that out. A lot of it is going to be determined by how many players return for that COVID year. Um, we had only one player that wasn't able to come back and use it, even though she had another year of eligibility left. And I assume that's gonna happen throughout the conference. And depending on how many players are able to return in all the programs, we could see everybody, not just in our conference, but across the country, be really at a next level skill-wise. If you are able to return a lot of those uh, experienced players, put them back on the floor for one more year, um, I expect the conference in general should be even tougher. Um, even though that spring season was a little strange and shorter, it still got a lot of development. There's a lot of high level play and a lot of those programs appear to be returning a lot of those same starters and, and players. So I expect everything to be a lot stronger this year. Um, it's gonna be determined by how many players return. And in our case, uh, we, we filled one slot that we really needed help in. Um, so I think that freshman's gonna, gonna potentially help us on game day a little bit and strengthen us in our outside hitting uh, and so I, I'm hoping that that fills some of the needs we had from the spring and that we're able to continue the work we had. Uh, our goal is always to be in the top four. And uh, I think we're going to set that as a goal again this year. And we'll see how we do. What's well, going to be different. It's going to be interesting. That's for sure. Uh, we've got a scrimmage tomorrow at Cornerstone and they're expecting fans to be there. And it's going to be a whole new level of uh, intensity and uh, having your parents there to be able to watch you play again is going to be great for the kids. We're excited for them to have that once again. Uh, but it adds another level of complexity. Now there's noise and there's now there's a home court advantage that you didn't really have. Everything was almost neutral in the spring when we tried to play without any spectators at all. So you go back to having that home court advantage and the noise that you've got to communicate 
uh, through and over and around. So uh, it adds some, some more levels of complexity. Um, can also add some nerves now that you know your parents are there and they haven't watched you play for a while. So it can, can affect the players positively and sometimes uh, possibly negatively if they, they get worked up about uh, who's watching and, and doing a good job to impress their parents and whatnot. So we're excited to have them, uh, but it's, it's a plus and a minus.